Marty Black. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, the UN warned that hospitals in Gaza had just 48 hours of fuel left to keep their electricity going. That was 28 hours ago. The electricity runs out tonight. Now, we have a human responsibility to all the people in Gaza, but we have a particular responsibility for UK citizens, some of whom are in those hospitals with no food, no water, no medicine and no way out. So I want to ask the Prime Minister, how much worse does the situation have to get before he will join us in calls for a humanitarian ceasefire? Yeah. 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 Uh, Mr. Mr Speaker, the, from the start, we have said that the first and most important principle is that Israel has the right to defend itself under international law. Our support for that position is absolute and unchanged. Uh, but from the start, we have also said that we do want British nationals to be able to leave Gaza and that we want hostages for, to be released and for humanitarian aid to get in. And we recognise that for all of that to happen, there has to be a safer environment, which of course necessitates specific pauses as distinct from a ceasefire. And we discussed this with partners yesterday evening at the United Nations. And we have also been consistently clear that everything must be done to protect civilians in line with international law and continue getting more aid flowing into Gaza. Murray Black. Mr Speaker, the, the growing calls for a ceasefire is also about calming the situation in the broader region, especially the West Bank. UNICEF has reported over 2,000 fatalities and over 5,000 injured children since the conflict began due to unrelenting attacks. Yep. If we ignore this, we risk pouring petrol on a fire in a place that only requires a spark to ignite. Yeah, yeah. Can the Prime Minister understand that joining calls for a ceasefire is now the best and maybe the only way to stop this conflict escalating beyond all control? Yeah. 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 Mr Speaker, we do worth have to remember that Israel has suffered a shockingly brutal yeah. terrorist attack. Hamas is responsible for this conflict and is, has the right to protect itself in line with international law. As the UN Charter makes clear, we will continue to urge the Israelis to follow international law, uh, whilst we also have to remember that Hamas cruelly embeds itself in civilian populations. But we are doing everything we can to get aid into the region. I'm pleased to say an RAF flight left the UK this morning for Egypt, carrying 21 tonnes of aid for Gaza. The relief supplies include 75,000 medical kits, solar lights, water filters, for families and warehousing equipment. Our team are on the ground ready to receive. We will continue to do everything we can to increase the flow of aid, including fuel, into Gaza.